hi guys welcome back to shan's kitchen it's been a while since i made a video but i'm back today and today as you can see from my display i'll be making some soup i've got all my ingredients there and um i've got some chicken that i've seasoned with all purpose and garlic powder chicken season and this all purpose soup mix so i have my pot over here waiting for it to come to a boil but in the meantime i'm just going to quickly prepare my carrots and pumpkin which is the first step so guys here we have it i have two carrots and um, some pumpkins honestly i don't know the weight of the pumpkin but you guys saw the size before i think it's maybe about a pound or something i'm not too sure i don't know so i just um what um peel them wash them and i dice the pumpkin into small to medium cubes and i just cut the um carrots this size so the pots come to a boil what i'm going to do now is just add my carrots and pumpkins and this is going to be quick soup quick and easy soup and I'm just going to add the chicken as well yeah and I'm just going to leave it to boil for 20 minutes We'll check back on it in 20 minutes and then start adding other ingredients but we're gonna leave them to cook for 20 minutes yes guys pot a bubble not quite ready yet though but in the meantime I've got my flour car meal and you can see a little bit of salt I'm just gonna need the dumpling and leave it to rest so 20 minutes up And everything looking good so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna make my dumplings and add them to the pot and also what I have here is um, one chocho one Irish potato and um, piece of yam I don't want too much food in this soup I prefer I want to have the liquid so um, that's why I'm just using this small amount you can put more yam if you want, more potato, or breadfruit, whatever you want. But today, this is what I'm using. So I have five ordinary dumplings and three little spinners. So this is the spinners. Chocha. So when I peel them, I put them in there. I put the yam in the water, in cold water, because I didn't want it to, the color to change and for it to start going brown. So this is my chocho and Irish yam and dumpling. I'm going to stir it and then I'm going to leave it to cook for 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to start um, seasoning up the pot with the scale and the thyme, pimento, and taste it and things. I, haven't, I don't put salt in there because the noodle is salt. I season the chicken, so it's at that point that I will taste it. And if it needs any salt or more seasoning, then I'll add it. See the people? So I didn't wait 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes, but now is the ideal time to put these things in. So I'm, I've got my um, scallion, I've crushed and beat them out so the flavors can be infused and come right out into the soup. Oops, and um, everything's been washed as well. I've got um, some thyme and I've got two cloves of, of garlic. Now waste nothing, everything going in this one. And um, 
I'm gonna put my corn in as well. I just got one corn and I cut it into four pieces. People, I'm telling you, if you could smell this right now, here that's a big some nashani. Um, and I got one green pepper. If you've watched any of my videos previously, you know I like pepper or pepe, as my African friends would say. I'm not going to cut it. But what I did do, I pierced it with my knife. <laughs> Make a little flavour come out. Make a little spice come right out in the soup as well. Not too much because, you know, it's just going to be a little bit. And then I have some pimento, some crushed, some whole. And I eat that. Everything looking beautiful and smelling right. And I taste it yet though. No, I'm not gonna know. Oh, the taste go. So, you guys, it's time for me now to put my noodles in, grace noodles. I use one cock soup and I use one pumpkin mix as well. So I'm just going to empty the content of the packets into my pot and then stir it and I'll show you what it looks like. Sometimes, sometimes when you empty the noodles into the pot, you'll find clumps. The powder is clumped together. So you just have to find them and make sure so you mix them out. Not always, but sometimes this is what happens. So I always just mix, search for them, make sure so they mash out and everything good. Then I will leave this to cook for 15 minutes and make the soup go and come down and thicken up and stuff like that. And I'll show you what it's like in the end, okay? Just a quick check in, in guys. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Okay, lovely people. So it's been 15 minutes and you can see that it started to thicken up and it's coming together very, very nicely. Um, it's pretty much finished cooking now, but I'm just going to leave it to simmer for another um, three, three to five minutes. I'm going to leave it on really, really low heat to literally just to simmer down um, and then I will plate it up for you guys that's that it's not tasting I can't taste any spice in there <laughs> but don't worry when I'm eating mine I'll just burst the pepper in there I find leave it for about two seconds so I can get a bit spicy but because I'm not the only person that's going to be eating this I can't make it too sp spicy the way that I would like it to be but yeah that's it this is what it should be looking like when it's finished I'm very pleased with this and total cooking time is 45 to 50 minutes this is chicken soup very quick very easy no long thing very tasty as well and I'm just gonna plate it up for you guys and then you'll see yes guys so the boat land now we've come to the end of the video and this is what my chicken soup is looking like it's looking beautiful and it's tasting even better um quick easy recipe and thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comment section if you've made your chicken if you've made chicken soup and um which is your favorite soup me i love every soup but today i'm working tonight so today i chose to cook something that's gonna be quick next one that i love is goat meat soup wonderful but let's just focus on this for a bit absolutely beautiful and taste even more divine i mean it's a bit this is the consistency that I like. It's a bit thick, slightly thick. Um, it's not broth. It's not the watery one. Today, this is nice and rich 
and tasty chicken soup. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me just taste it for you now. Mm. Very, very nice. I love it. Bye.